Only 400 meters from the sand, waves and sun lies North Fremantle Station. Let's take a quick sped up walk to see the walking route from the beach to the station. You go up this sandy entrance and cross this grassy lawn through this park which has uh, some barbecue facilities and a shower and toilets over there. And then you go up the bricks, up the stairs. And over here is a road called Freeman Loop, which is strange because it's like Freeman Toll, just without the toll. Mm, yeah. Then you go through the middle of this road, come to the end where the cars have to turn around, like this one right here, and to this traffic light, which is pedestrian dedicated. Press the button, and it immediately goes amber for the cars, and we can go. And here is the station already behind this fence but the entrance is actually quite a long way down the road so we'll have to walk all the way there but here comes a train now so we'll quickly look at that And a quick walk down the rest of Curtin Avenue here, we come to the entrance. Here's actually the station sign on this corner, although this is actually quite far from the station. If you look, see, it's all the way down there. The station sign's here because this is the entrance. Through this narrow pathway, and then you can cross across the pedestrian maze. That track's never um, used. But here we go and this then there's a long walkway all the way up which reminds me of East Guildford station when you get up there's an open station smart road processor and a bin and you immediately notice the asphalt island platform looking pretty ugly compared to some other stations And as that B-series train departs, we'll take a quick look at the facilities on the platform. 
it's another hot station with seating and information tickets emergency sanitizer all over here there's also some planters and bike urls on the platform and then behind here we've got uh, some more seating and a defibrillator just behind the other wall here but that's it empty platform again simple asphalt with the uh, bricks at the edge and the yellow line quite far behind nothing interesting at all so we can already head down and take a look at what else the station has here we are at the front of the station at the station sign on Sterling Highway there is another pedestrian dedicated crossing here to get to the other side of this road as well as a bus stop over there which does have some local bus routes that you can use but it's not like an interchange style so the station is not marked as a bus interchange although it's right there and the bus stops right here so you can transfer to different routes there is only the 103, 107 and 998 which go to Claremont, East Perth or it's the circle route 999 on the other side as you can see the big timetable there quite a lot of buses actually so right now we're gonna get on one to head down to a special bridge which crosses over the tracks further north towards Perth and here's a quick view of the small car park through the fence with a nice villa board over there uh, uh, with a powerball ad and a bike shelter but that's it here as well And now here I am on a 998 service for one minute for two stops. Quick history of the station. It's originally opened in 1881 to the north of Tideman Street, but then in 1964 a new station opened, as well as the new Fremantle Railway Bridge, and the original station site became a diesel locomotive depot. And then in, on the 28th of July 1991, when the line was electrified, Another new station opened, which is the one we see now, 800 meters further north, and it also compensated for the removal of Leighton Station, which is another 700 meters further north. Just to the west of the station, there is still a freight line here, which it would run to the abandoned Leighton Marshalling Yard, uh, just like there was at other Fremantle Line stations, but there the line was removed but here it still exists with the pedestrian maze we saw earlier crossing across it but there's no purpose of that because no trains run there anymore and now we're already on this wooden bridge which crosses quite high above the train tracks you can see the feds there so you don't jump straight down onto the tracks and the ocean and the cargo ships over there waiting clearance awaiting clearance into the Fremantle port. Over here they're building a new PSP on the western side of the tracks to connect Cottesloe to Fremantle or Victoria Street to Fremantle because that's where the current PSP goes up to. There's the station uh, viewed from here and uh, the construction work and the freight line down there to the Leighton Marshalling Yard as I said but nothing else to see on this bridge quickly just say that the station is 16.2 kilometers from Perth in Fair Zone 2, serving the actual suburb of North Fremantle, and is located north of the Swan River. And now, as we admire these glamorous views from the bridge just before the sun sets, I have finished talking about the station, and we can move into the train clips now. We'll start by viewing some right here from this bridge, and then go back to the station to see a few more. And we're going to save the rating for the end of the video.
With the conclusion of those train clips, I will head back down the ramp and cross the eastern pedestrian maze across the Fremantle Brown tracks, back into the car park, past the bike shelter and very appropriate ad for the area, getting stuck in traffic with a big massive cruise ship inside the small Fremantle port with all the little ships, suggesting that that's what you'd buy if you'd get the lotto. Anyway, I don't have to explain that stuff. Um, we will now head over to those gardens and I can rate the station over there. I'm going to rate it two stars. Although it has a pedestrian maze and is just another hot station, the use of the planters and trees makes it look more appealing and it also has a much bigger and safer car park than some other stations on the old lines which just have a tiny little uh, car park which is hard to maneuver in and it's also got the two bus stops out the front on the Stirling Highway with pedestrian dedicated traffic lights as well for safe and easy access to the beach and the surrounding area so it's a nice station serving this specific area but of course it's gonna get two stars because its facilities are very limited.